Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian and this is I Am Spoon. Hi there. So I Am Spoon is our resident gamer actually. When they need somebody who's good, they don't call me, they call Spoon. And he's going to show us Jurassic World Evolution today. You spent three days with this game. Thoughts on it after those three? Well, I love it. I was already excited for it before I even came here. And so we're going to play it together, and I'm going to show you what the game's about. Show me how to actually manage this park. So I can't wait to see how excited you are when we play this game. Let's go check it out. So they kind of have a campaign that shows you how to play. So the first level is very kind of like easy. It kind of holds your hand and shows you, hey, this is how you make a dinosaur. This is how you get more DNA because each dinosaur kind of starts off with a percentage of strand. So that Triceratops right there may only be like 60% of a Triceratops. Oh. And the rest of the 40% they have to mix with a frog. It's a 60% authentic Triceratops. Yeah, yeah. And so, and probably so what, don't put that in the pamphlet when you're visiting. <laughs> no. So what they have you do is you go out on these expeditions and you go dig up fossils and you dig up fossils for certain dinosaurs. And so the more realistic or the more percentages you have towards that dinosaur's DNA, the more it's going to attract park guests. Park guests are going to be like, holy crap, that's an authentic Triceratops. Not only that, it's going to help the Triceratops live. It's going to have a longer lifespan. It's not going to be as susceptible to illnesses. It's going to be stronger. If it were to get in a fight with a dinosaur, it's not going to just die in one bite. The way the DNA strands work in this game is you have frog, you have shark, you have snake, and you have research centers where you can research other DNA strands that you can mix together. And certain ones give certain abilities. And so you'll have a Triceratops that has a snake DNA and it makes it more aggressive, makes it stronger. And more aggressive dinosaurs are more dangerous, but they entertain. But more fun. But yeah, exactly. So much more fun. They entertain the, the park guests yeah, uh, just a little bit more. The crowd, yeah. The, I can see them. They yeah. all have smiles. They're like, did you see the snake raptor over there? <laughs> yeah, they have smiles now. But, uh, but what about, are we building for our raptor? Well, this is actually the Ceratosaurus. It's not a raptor, but it's cl you're Everything's close. Everything's a raptor. You're, you're close. If it has teeth, it ha it's a raptor. <laughs> so there's two things you can do. Uh, that's a goat. Oh, we uh, built a goat. There's two things you can do with food. You can have just stationary meat that they go eat, and they're happy with that. Yeah. But come but, on, but are they yeah, really? They're not going to be happy with that. The predators are going to need to hunt, and uh, you'll see that I'm going to put down. building a goat for our Triceratops? No, 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 that's that's a plant. So the tri okay. Triceratops doesn't need to hunt, you know, and eat a goat. It eats plants. Yeah, because it's But our Ceratosaurus, he, you know, he's a hunter. He's He wants to go after oh, that goat. Oh, he sees that goat. Yeah, he's going to. Oh, he's, he's all about that. Hey, goat. Oh! No, he. Oh! Yeah, he, he's not friendly with the goat. Yeah, one bite! But he's fed now. Wow! Yeah, he's happy now. Oh, he's oh, yeah. look, he's looking at it. He's yeah. smiling. <laughs> oh, she. They're all she's, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So I think the way, and I asked Frontier about this. I said, can we have, you know, dinosaur mating and make baby dinosaurs? They said no. In, in the Jurassic <laughs> lore, they said all, no, Sam. Get your mind out of the gutter. No, that's not what they said. In the Jurassic lore, they're all females, uh, except for the Indominus Rex, I think. Right. So here you can see the park has two ratings. It has a dinosaur rating for, you know, it says variety. So they want more different types of dinosaurs. Not only that, you know, if you have a lower DNA rating, if you have a, like a, a Triceratops that's sickly and 90% of frog, they're not really going to be interested in that. In that. <laughs> and pay for 90% frog. Yeah. As you unlock more dinosaurs, you get to read about them. And so you'll read about the Triceratops, what it is, where it lived, and it'll give you more information about the dinosaur as you discover it. But you do have to go out and dig for fossils. And here you can see a little bit of the strands of DNA you can mix. So what, what we just we built was a gift shop. I always put a gift shop towards the exit, like oh. any good park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't leave the park without That's visiting the, the gift shop. first rule of park Absolutely. management, of dino park management. One, build gift shop. Two, maybe yeah. put up a fence. Yeah, I mean, there's dinosaurs here, but, I mean, you got to take those memories home yeah. with you. Yeah, although so, if you lose an arm, I mean, that's a heck of a memento. That's more right? than a memory. Yeah. That's a life-changing life, yeah. experience. <laughs> I mean, you can see the way the park looks right now. It's just kind of very foliage heavy. I mean, this is on a very lush island. In fact, this particular park has issues with rainstorms, and the mm -hmm. rainstorms can damage equipment, and so you have to build these radar towers to plan for that. You have to build shelters, and then you can build these viewing platforms where the people come in. So the, the dinosaur has like a buffet to choose from. Yep. Yeah, with like a sneeze guard and everything. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the Jeep. A Jeep! And you can send the Jeep out on tasks. You also have a helicopter you can send out to tranquilize animals. But the Jeep is meant to give them more food if they run out. It's meant to give oh, yeah. them medicine if they get sick. But not only can you send it out on tasks, you can actually drive it around. And, you know, it's, it's actually really fun. It fishtails really well. You can take it over some sweet jumps. Yeah, let's do you, some sweet donuts. You can't run over people um, for obvious reasons. Well, I think you're not you just, trying hard enough. Yeah, you just go through them. Come on, for, get them. For obvious reasons, you can't run over people. I feel like you're not trying. Yeah. <laughs> 
I admit I instinctively avoid trying to hit them, but you still can run into them. It's not Grand Theft Auto, it's a park management thing. You don't want to run over your guests. Uh, fence broke? Uh, oh, 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 of course, of course it's that one. Yeah, of course it's, it's that one. It's never the herbivore. Okay, well, I'm going to repair the fence. Yeah, I, behind the dinosaur, good thinking. The issue is I, I didn't place an ACU down, which is the chopper, so I don't have a way to knock this thing out. Oh. Oh. oh, okay, well, that's... Well, it's found... Oh, no, and it looks the same as that goat it, earlier. It's, it's the white lab coat confused of it. Of course. Well, at least it's one of the scientists and not one of the guests. Yeah. Yeah, the only bad part is I, I really don't have a way to, uh, to yeah, stop so this from happening. Yeah, so is this just our park now? <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is our... I don't have enough money to buy the ACU, unfortunately, and I did not... Uh, there's a chance of these guys breaking out, but I just never... I never had it happen. This is the, like, one of the bigger islands. This is kind of the sandbox mode where you have unlimited cash... This is the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. I'm sensing a fight. Are we gonna have a fight here? Uh, I can't. T I think so. Maybe. Ooh. Looks like the Ankylosaurus is staring him down. Yeah. I haven't actually. I oh. kind. I kind of just like threw everything into a pin. I didn't actually get a chance to. Uh, to organize it, so oh, that's da absolutely he's, gonna be a fight. He's got the prison mentality where first day you challenge the biggest guy in the yard to a fight. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's this, what he's doing though. Yeah, no, this, he's gotta prove yeah, that he's it, not to be messed with. Oh, yeah, in this particular case, it's not. Oh, one bite, low health. Yeah, it's not gonna go dumb. Oh, ooh, that looks like a pretty I don't, good don't hit count though. him out. He's got a billy club on his back end. W I what happened? They're circling each other like it's a knife fight. On a positive note, you know, even if he doesn't win this fight, I mean, he's gonna have some mad rep. Yeah. Uh, but he might be dead. Yeah. Afterwards, so I don't yeah, know how well that's Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, Triceratops. <laughs> Just comes out of hey guys, stop fighting. He's got two good wallops on the on the yeah. Indominus. I don't think the Indominus no, cares no. for him very much. No, I mean, there was actually a fight between Ankylosaurus oh. and a uh, Indominus in Jurassic World, and uh, do you want you want to know who the winner was uh, of that one? Considering the Indominus record, yeah, it was yeah. the it was the Indominus. Yeah, race. that's what I thought. Yeah, no, that uh, yeah. So we got raptors in here too. This is kind of just a cluster of dinosaurs that we kind of threw in here together. Yeah, um, just see what happens. Yeah, you know, but, but let again, nature take its course. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that there's unlimited cash. I, I don't think you have to worry about researching everything. But and yet we're only one and a half Yelp review stars. <laughs> we're not doing so well. I think that, I think that's park reviews, but I mean, I guess that's probably the same it's thing. It's probably on Yelp. What would be like the Jurassic Park version of Yelp? Yeah. Come up with something clever. <laughs> it would clever. be it would be Yelp because they're being eaten oh, by a dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. You can see some of the dinosaurs that have been unlocked. The interesting thing about the sandbox is that it's not just free mode to do whatever. The sandbox is everything you've unlocked in the actual campaign. Mm. And so the sandbox allows you to only get as far as you've gotten in the actual campaign. So I if see. you haven't unlocked the Spinosaurus, you're going to have to go to this menu, which is where you go and you collect fossils. It even says cannot collect on this island. So you actually have to go into the campaign and unlock all the various research, mm. all the various dinosaurs before you can put them into your sandbox. So the sandbox is only as good as... Uh, the toys you bring to it. Exactly. And it's only as powerful as the work you've done in the actual campaign. But you can see all the dinosaurs are just dead. Oh. <laughs> But oh, we're not. This yeah, isn't going every, well. Yeah, this this park is basically ruined. But I just wanted to show you kind of like the chaos that can ensue. And, you know, when you're not trying to manage anything, we're just like, you know what? what you guys have what fun. What got the Indominus Rex? Probably disease. Yeah, probably so, infection. Looks like, you know, in the end. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people kind of expect with this game is just dinosaurs. And, you know, you throw them out into the world and let them eat people. But it really is a management. You need to make a successful park. So you have to go through and you have to make sure that they're not going to die to disease. The guests are going to be happy. But not only the guests but the dinosaurs as well. All right, Spoon, I'll admit it. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. You know, we only got a few people killed. Only a few. That's I, a lot better than what normally happens yeah, in the movies. I take my chances in our park any day. I appreciate you joining and watching me go through the mayhem. Well, if you guys like that, we have tons more coverage here at E3, and you can watch it all right here on GeForce.